Hey guys, welcome back to Bell Boo's Lunches, or if you're new, welcome. So glad you're here. We have some yummy, delicious lunches this week, and I don't know what my deal, I do know what my deal was. I was very stressed this entire week, and I said a lot of things wrong, <laughs> so I tried to correct most of them. Like, as I'm editing this, I'm thinking, why did I say that? That is not true. So I tried to put the actual correct things in text so that you would know, but I don't know. Words are hard, y'all. They're just really hard. But if you end up liking this video, feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, share it out to anybody that you think might also like it. And let's just get into the first lunch video. Today we are making just an easy pizza roll lunchable. And I have a question. Do you guys like your pizza rolls microwaved or baked? It is seriously crazy to me because Bella would prefer her pizza rolls to be baked. We'll start packing the rest of her lunch. I'm listening for them pizza rolls because they don't take very long when you microwave them. I'm gonna give Bella a little bit of pasta salad. Where should we put it? Over here? Okay. Uh, one thing I did do when Bella was in school is I would put her pizza rolls in the toaster oven to kind of crisp them up and then um, throw them into a food warmer, like a thermos. And that way, by the time she got to school, they were kind of soft because like all the steam in there kind of softened it. So she still got her soft pizza rolls, but they, they weren't super soggy at that point. Does that make sense? Anyway, she's getting some pasta salad, a hard boiled egg, some tomatoes. All right, let's just plop in her little pizza rolls. They are fully heated up now. She eats at home, so we do not have to worry about keeping these hot. She's gonna eat them right now. I think I'm just gonna pop in a little cutie up in the very top. Here's Bella's lunch today. She is getting some pizza rolls, yummy. Some tomatoes, these are like, I don't know, pretty colored tomatoes. I found them at Walgreens. She's getting some pasta salad, a hard boiled egg, and a cutie. So here's Bella's lunch today. We'll see what she eats. All right, All right Bella, how to do? <laughs> uh, good job. Thank you. Delicious lunch. Yeah. Pizza rolls are always a, a winner. Win. I was going to say winners. <laughs> All right. Well, good job, Bella. Thanks. Hey, guys. I'm going to make a little dessert thing for Bella's little lunchy poo. So I have got some crescent roll dough here. I'm just trying to form it, get it back into its little square shape. And I want them to be kind of small. So we're gonna cut it in half. I'm just gonna pop in a little bit of Nutella. The only thing you wanna make sure you're able to do is close up your crescent roll dough around the Nutella. Just start kind of pinching it together because we don't want it to seep out. Here's what they look like. I'm gonna go throw them in my air fryer for about, I don't know. I'm gonna watch them until they're done. I just pulled these babies out. I'm gonna let them cool off before I add them to her lunch, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited for them. Yum. For Bella's lunch today, she is getting a macaroni and cheese. Now, I am trying something new. I saw this on the Tiki Talk, and what you're supposed to do is leave some of the water in. You're not supposed to drain all the water out of your macaroni. So can you kind of see? There's a little bit of water down in there still. Evidently that's to make it like all the more creamy and cheesy. So we'll give it a try. Then we're going to add in some milk. And our cheese. I don't know. Seems kind of soupy to me. We are just going to cut our cucumber right into here. Oh shoot! I don't even know when I stopped recording. But I wanted to show you that this hack really did work. The macaroni is super creamy. I threw it into Bella's lunchbox already. Um, and then I also gave her, did I tell you any of this? I don't know what recorded and what didn't. This is a Nutella uh, croissant. 
some cucumbers, and a cutie. If I was setting this to school, I would not put any decorations in this part because it's going to get all messed up and I don't want her to accidentally eat it. But because she's just going to eat it right now, it's not going to get messed up at all. We're not even going to use this lid. So that's my little disclaimer, okay? Safety first. So here is Bella's lunch today. She's getting some cucumbers, a cutie, a Nutella croissant, and some macaroni and cheese. So here's her lunch. We'll see what she eats. All right, right Bella, Bella, how'd you do? Wow, how was it? Uh, really good. Mm -hmm. I did add some, cho not charcoal, what's it called? Pepper. Pepper to my mac and cheese. And then the reason she didn't eat her orange is because... They're hard to peel. They're hard to peel. Yeah. So I'll be peeling <laughs> them for her now. <laughs> All right, well, good job, Bella. Thanks. Let's make a lunch for Bella. I just made up a little bit of egg salad. So we're gonna throw that onto her bread. We just do mayo, ranch, mustard, paprika, and dill. dill. And you can add a little bit of salt if you need it to be a little bit more salty. Yes. Mm -hmm. Bella wants extra dill. I love dill. That's it. So, oh, you want a lettuce? Oh, I did want lettuce. And I'm sorry, can you do it in uh, triangles? You said rectangles. I, I know, I got my, I got it confused. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, I literally like triangles. All right, triangles it is. Got her lettuce on. Now she wants triangles. So there is our egg salad. If you're planning to send these sandwiches to school, I would have cut them into rectangles so that they fit into the lunch box better. But Bella eats at home, she's homeschooled. So she can have her sandwiches poking way out of the lunch box like that, no I'm, big deal. I'm one of the cool kids. So I'm gonna give Bella some peaches down in here. And then wait until you see this little dessert that she's going to get. It's so good and it's so easy. So if you're looking for like an easy little snack to have, don't say I didn't warn you. This is super good. So you're going to take Philadelphia cheesecake, no bake. It's done. You can just eat this with a spoon. And we're going to make our own miniature cheesecake back here. So we're going to put down a couple little crackers these are just vanilla wafers that's the crust of our pie and then we're going to drop in our cheesecake on top of our crackers now if you're setting this to school it's going to be perfect and the little vanilla wafers are going to be nice and soft and so good extra vanilla wafers if she wants to dip them into her cheesecake we're going to do a drizzle of caramel on top of this perfect and then I got a couple little peppers that I wanted to kind of stick into here. I'm gonna top it off with some of these fun little leaf sprinkles. Now let's add in some decorations. You got a little fish, he can be swimming in your sandwich. Cute. I have a fact about seahorses. Oh, what is it? Um. Okay, I forgot, forgot the first one. <laughs> Did you know only male seahorses can lay uh, babies? Can have babies? Yeah. Mm hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> I was going to tell you how many like kids they could have, but I like totally forgot it. Oh, you have a number for that? Yeah. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I want to know. All right, I'm going to hang that guy in there. Okay. Perfect. Here's Bella's lunch today. This is so cute. It's all fishy. So she's getting, we should have done tuna sandwich. Ooh. Oh well. Egg salad. Uh, she's getting cheesecake with vanilla wafers, some peaches in the back corner, and then some yummy little peppers. You just eat these. Eat the whole pepper. Just not the stem. Everything else you can eat. Or anyway. Seeds. Yeah, or, you, I mean, you can eat the seeds. <laughs> you actually can. All right, Bella, good job. Thanks. I mean, <laughs> Here's what Bella, or no, how do, what do I say? Here's Bella's lunch today. We'll see what she eats. Hey guys, you want to make a lunch with me today? Hold on, let me turn off my, sh my shower, my laundry. Okay, so I'm just throwing in a napkin. We're going to throw in a couple little silicone liners. 
dollars. Probably this. This is gonna be a super fast lunch, and I'm so excited to make it. Um, we have hockey. You guys, hockey is in full swing. Let me tell you, there's been a little bit of dramatics happening in the with the locker rooms. Um, I'm just throwing in some blueberry yogurt. First of all, Bella plays on a co-ed team, and they have a whole hallway full of locker rooms. However, the girls don't get a locker room in that hallway. They basically get a locker room in the corner of another ice rink. This is like where I struggle with it. It hurts uh, the girls because after the games, the the whole team goes into one locker room, right? And then they kind of talk about the game or even before the game, they can kind of talk about the game. Well, the girls, and there's only two on the team, they don't go in that locker room, which I get, like, it, like they need their own, like, space. Like, I understand that. But there should be, like, a place, since it is co-ed, that they can all go and discuss before the game and after the game, which I will get to that in a second. They're supposed to be, but it's not happening. Has it happened yet, Bella? What? Where you've gone in the locker room before the game? No. Or after the game? Okay, and sometimes like that locker room is in, like if the ice plex has three rinks, right? So it has a rink here, rink here, rink here. So you, sometimes they're in this rink, but their locker room is like way back over here. So they have to come out, walk through the hallway. It's just, I don't know. I think they're doing their best and I understand that, but sometimes your best just isn't good enough. So um, Bella's gone in a couple times to try to... Uh, like before the game to you're supposed to be able to go in five minutes before the game and talk to your team and your coach and all that um has that happened every time I don't know um I, I feel like the first couple of games she says now that she's being able to be let in but it's only for like five seconds so really the only team like talking that they're able to do is when they have practices um and then definitely after the games they just all go straight to their own locker rooms and so I don't know if it would be like better to like have like a team chat like I don't know I don't know how they could do it better it's I guess they're doing their best which in my opinion isn't good enough and if you're going to have co-ed teams, then you should have um, a locker room, whatever. I'm just probably crabby about it. I don't know. Maybe it's not a big deal. Um, it is a big deal, though, for, like, the team aspect because, you know, like, after the game, who are, who are you going to, like, talk to about the game? I guess the other girls that were playing the game with you, which also, um, they go into the exact same locker room as the girls on the other team. I don't know. Okay, okay, Chick-fil-A sauce. That sounds a little inappropriate. Um, I don't know. I, I'm thinking I'm just, like, probably, like, really, like, just want everything to be more equal when it comes to that. And it's not, and it's not going to be. And I need to let it go. But it just drives me crazy for the girls that, you know, are stuck in this locker room way far away and... That's just one of my issues. I have some other issues too with hockey. Let's stop here, okay? Um, girls locker room. That's my my issue this week is just the locker rooms and I wish that they were differently. Differently set up. Does that make sense? Here's Bella's lunch today. She made her chicken nuggets. She made them in the air fryer so they're nice and crispy. Uh, and then that's some Chick-fil-A sauce. I made her some like pepperonis with cream cheese, some blueberry yogurt, some fruit cocktail, and some tomatoes back there. So here is Bella's lunch today. We'll see what she eats. All right, All right guys, how to do? Wow, no tomatoes today? Nah. All right. The chicken nuggets are pretty good though. Of course, with that <laughs> Chick-fil-A sauce. So good. All right, Bella, good job. Thanks.